What is the difference between a goal and a dream? There is such a fine line between those two words. So how do you go from a dream to a goal? You take action. Today is the day. I'm going to go and try careless talk now. Um, I didn't think I was going to um, actually try and um, jump on it until I'm actually really ready, which is not going to be for a while. But I feel like if you've got this huge goal, like if you're going to go and have like 100 sessions on something, chances are you're going to probably hate whatever it is that you're doing. So I feel like I don't want to do it that way, even though this is one of my, you know, lifetime goals. I feel like I'll leave it for when I properly actually feel ready. But I have been thinking about it for the past uh, few weeks. I just kind of had the urge just to go and try it and see what the moves are like. Um, and funnily enough, one of my friends is actually uh, trying it. So he's put a top rope on it and the weather's great conditions are primo so <laughs> I'm just gonna go and try it and see if there is like a single move that I can do on it which would be quite cool so yeah I'm really excited see how it goes how do you even try a seven meter high ball if you can't do the first few moves you top rope solo I have never done this before so I had a quick crash course on the day the rest of the afternoon pretty much went like this. And after a good few goes, I have managed to link a few moves. It was really good to have a go and just experience the climb to give me an idea of just how hard it is. As you can see, I'm not ready to try properly. I don't want to skip the journey for the goal. Let me explain that. It is probably possible to dedicate every minute of your free time to your project. Every day off you have, every bit of good weather is dedicated to coming to the same place and trying the same set of moves. You might put 100 sessions into your project and do it. Sometimes that is what you have to do. I don't see much point in that at this stage of my climbing though, because there is so much to learn elsewhere. There is the ethical factor too. A classic climb like this will also get slightly more polished every time someone climbs on it so I will reserve it for when I feel ready. And when will that be? I think when I have climbed some 7Cs on grit. And when will I be ready to climb a 7C? When I climb a 7B. I hope that explains the approach that I'm taking. The question is, having tried the problem now, do I think it is more or less achievable? The thing about dreams and goals is that you never know what will ultimately be the right word for what it is that you are doing. But isn't that the reason in itself why we should try and do it anyway?